Okay, so we now have some uh, smooth motion going on. It's pretty easy for us to navigate around in the game space. Let's look at adding an enemy so we can make things a little more difficult for our player. Okay. First thing you need to do is add a sprite as usual. Edit it. Let's make it a uh, little red guy. Drawing with the pencil in black on a red background. Yeah. And we don't want him transparent, just like the player. Okay. And we're going to add an object. The with object. That sprite. Yeah, the object um, is represented by the sprite we just drew, just like the last time. Yeah. Now, we're going to make him run across the screen. Okay, what this is, is um, the idea, right? The enemy needs some intelligence. Yeah, yeah so in the create, we're going to um, set the horizontal speed to 8, which is pretty fast. So now... What it'll do right now is run across the screen and keep going outside the room. So we're going to stop that with other, outside room, and we're going to jump to position. X is negative 31. The sprite width is 32 pixels wide. This We'll make it so that only one pixel is showing on the left side. Okay, and the Y position, which is how high it is in the room, how what will be random. So there's a function called random, and there's a built-in variable called room height. And room height means the game maker has a variable that knows how big our room is. Yeah, so we're going to choose a random number from 0 to however big the room is. Great. So now we want um, yet another collision event with the enemy... So what we're doing is building some consequence for uh, running into the enemy because as it is, we have the enemy going across the screen, but unless something happens when he runs into the player, you're not really challenging the player. Yeah. So we're going to do show message, and the message is going to be, you died. How... Okay, so we're going to send a message. We also want something to happen to the player. We don't just want to send a message to the player, so how do we yeah. do that? So we're going to restart the room with a nice transition. I like blend. So if the enemy hits us, we have to start all over again. Yeah. Okay. Um, note that that's just the level, not the whole game. Okay. So if you want to restart the whole game and make it really hard, go to the main two tab and game re that restarts it. Okay. So, yep, now we have to put the enemy object inside the room. Oh, so we've gotten all this trouble, but unless we actually put him in there, uh, nothing, will, nothing will show up for our player. Yeah, so just put him at any spot except for the Y position of the player, because if you put him here or here or here, he's going to run straight into the player, and it'll be really hard. All right. And so he's in level one, and we're going to put him in level two. And we're going to put two of them in level two just to celebrate the fact that you got to level two, and we're making it hard for you. Yeah. Okay, let's see if that works. Okay, there he is, and he's coming for me, and I can get out of the way. And I'm going to keep scoring, but one day he's... Oh, he ran into me. You died. 
Yep, and then it restarts. Okay, and let's just let. Oh, sure seemed to work. Yep.